Hello everyone, how's it Heinen? It's me Tangosis back at ya with another video. Today we're showing off the Hunho's Gift Collection. It's a collection of the War Sword, a Kyo cool Armor Set, a Kubro Armor Set, as well as a Kyo cool Ship Skin. As always, we're gonna go on ahead and begin with the Armor Sandana, followed by the Kubro Armor, and then the Sword, then the Ship Skin. Or maybe the Sword first, well, let's go on ahead and begin. So as we can see, I've already got my Revenant on for today's video, just because, you know, a sentient frame, as well as a sentient armor set, so I thought, hey, why not? So we're gonna go on ahead and go here first, just so we can see it in the default colors. So, here we go. Pack our chest plate, then see him for his arms and legs, so let's go on ahead and put them on. As we can see, it actually does work quite well with the default Revenant colors. Shoulder pads, leg guards, there we go. So this here is what uh, the Paco armor set looks like in the default colors, so as always we're gonna go for a few random ones. There we go. Just I'll load it up here at the side so you can see what we're working with, so it does look quite well depending on what colors you work with. I think we'll do one more. There we go. And now for the Sandana. So if we head down here to Sandana, we're going ahead and type it in. There we go. So that's what the Sandana looks like. It has a cool, like a rusted bronze sort of look to it. So as always, a few random colors. Here we go. Then we'll show it in my usual color setup. Because I think I do have this here armor set going for this here frame, so. Here we go. So if we add down here to appearance A, that's my usual colour set for his armour, as well as the sandana, like you do. So, there we go. That's it for the armour and sandana, and now it's time to look at the sword. So as we can see, we already have the war sword on and equipped. So this here is it, just in its default colour, so we're going to go through a few random colours here. You can also see here is the base stats at the side. So, whatever way you like to mod it, you can go on ahead, but here's just the uh, base stats for it. So, a few random colours here first, you know, as you do, just so you can see how the colours all look on it, before checking out the usual colour scheme I like to roll with. So there's a few random colours for you, set it back to default, and here it is with my usual colour setup I like to roll with. This is a pretty cool looking sword, doesn't it? And as I mentioned, here's the base stats for it. Uh, just in case you're interested, here's the polarity slots. It comes with one D slot, as well as one dash. So, there you go for mods and stuff. Now, lastly, before we check out the ship skin, is actually the armor set. So, I have a Kubro already here, and here's the armor set for it. So, armor set wise, it is cool looking. I have to say, it looks like a stalker face. Suppose design wise, suppose maybe it could be a bit bulkier, I guess, you know, cover more of it, but it is cool enough anyway. So if we head down here to attachments, it's called the Pacao Kubro armor. So there you go. We'll do a few random colors before we go on ahead and set it to my usual color setup. I have to say, the purple one's pretty cool, isn't it? There you go, I have to say, I like this one. I'm just going ahead and set it to my usual colour set, so... Set the white... The black... Ordis did not think the operator could be more attractive. Grey... Wrong again, Ordis. The gold... Uh, it doesn't really matter too much about the emissive, you can sort of have that whatever you want. Then lastly, the orange. So I suppose depending on what colour you want to set your Kubro's fur pattern to be, I suppose you can make it work. Otherwise, you can probably just hit random and whatever looks cool, you can just go ahead and roll with it. So, there you go for the Kubro armor. Now, of course, last but not least, the ship skin. So, if we head down here, now I hope I remember how to do this, down here to, I think, Orbiter, Lantern, uh, here we go, Customized Lantern Craft. So, as we can see, I already have the ship already equipped that it comes with, the Skimitar. So, here's the Skimitar Soft Skin. So that's it here, so we'll go for the default colours, that's what it looks like as usual. It is pretty cool looking, I gotta say. 
So we'll go through a few random colours before we go ahead and set it to my usual colour setup I like to run with. That's the Ellen's pretty cool looking actually. So let's go ahead and go through my usual colour setup. So we got the white, the black, the grey, sort of like a yellowy gold, and the engines, the orange colour. There we go. So that's what it looks like in my usual colour setup I like to roll with. And now lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at the price comparisons. So Hun Ho's gift, you go ahead and pick it up from the market. It's 516 platinum, and I don't think you can get any of these separate, so... You can get the War Sword, as you can see. You can get it from random drops, I think the blueprint from the Starker. And the parts from the sentient enemies on Lua, so uh, there you go. Um, everything else, as you can see, comes in this here bundle for 516 platinum. Honestly speaking, unless, uh, mind you, while the sword itself is farmable, it might take a while. Everything else, I think you can only get it from this here bundle. So unless you really want to spend 516 platinum for a bunch of, well... I'm going to leave the armor set, Kubro armor, and the ship skin, that is all pretty cool. So, I would recommend you try waiting for a sale if this armor set ever goes on sale. Otherwise, if you can live without the armor set, the Kubro armor, and the ship skin, you could probably go on ahead and farm the war sword. Otherwise, in the event the uh, stuff all goes on sale, pick it up then. 516 platinum, unless you're willing to spend a bit of dosh for the platinum or do a bunch of trading, you could probably live without it. Although, truthfully speaking, I think I picked this up on sale after a bunch of trading, so... Pick it. Unless you're loaded with platinum, pick it up. Otherwise, wait for a sale. Or just farm a sword and you'll probably be fine, but... Uh, that's essentially about it for today's video for the Hunho's Gift Collection. So, there you go everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Tangosis, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch all you lovely folk next time.